Hello guys, I'm a teacher in Boca Sajigo Masame. Welcome to Limboka Physics. Uh, we have a question below. It's a question number five uh, from uh, Abutsi. It says question uh, 12 and the exercise five. Uh, we asked to find uh, the first part, we asked to find the tensions uh, that uh, the spring here will uh, cause this mass not to to move down the inclined plane of a 30 degrees angle uh, with horizontal uh, uh, let us uh, having the drawing here below that's uh, uh, assigned the a parameter uh, responsible uh, to act on the object at the inclined plane. Uh, we have a normal reactions and we have tensions of the spring that is acting against the weight of this uh, mass of the of this body. Uh, and the, this mass of this body is acting uh, perpendicular to the ground, to the surface of the ground, surface of the S. Remember this is vectors, we must draw it perpendicular to the surface of the S because always G is pointing uh, towards the center of the S and we assume it uh, is perpendicular to the surface of the S any place on the surface of the S and the uh, normal reaction is always perpendicular to the surface of the uh, object or the body and is acting uh, upwards vertically okay uh, this uh, normal reactions will extend backwards uh, and we finally getting the components of weight of this body that is we have a uh, here is vertical components that is w equals theta as we know that this angle is theta and here it is 90 degree from here to here and if it's 90 degrees yeah and here also it is 90 degrees when you consider this triangle, I uh, will have 90 minus 30. And when you consider this 90 degree, from this uh, 90 degrees dotted line, we will have 30 degrees here. Okay? And this T is the tension of the strings. Okay? Uh, consider the horizontal forces. And when you consider the horizontal forces, we study these forces from the center of the C body. That is where we set our axis as a frame of reference for the forces that act on the C body. That is 0, 0. And we can refer our coordinate system that we are saying the, the, the sign of these vectors according to their directions. Uh, for W sin theta is going toward a lefty, that is negative x axis, and here is negative, while t is positive, and here is our net acceleration times the mass of the body. Because it is a static uh, equilibrium, there is no motions at all, and it is zero, then our solutions will be 50 newtons as towards the right, as we get positive. Uh, part B, we ask to find the horizontal forces when this is spring removed so that these forces will not allow this body to move down the inclined plane. We have this, uh, as usual, our angle is not changed, uh, it is there, and hence we must uh, draw our horizontal uh, forces vector. That is our rotor vector here, and this is normal reaction as you, we explained previously. And this is, as usual, the component of the weight of the body. That is, the weight is perpendicular to the to the surface of this uh, ground. And the, remember, this this horizontal force must be horizontal and parallel to the surface to the ground surface. And now we will extend this vector uh, as it is moving back from this uh, bodies towards the right and see this vector f we take it as vector dash but this vector dash is equal to just the vector f 
and when we extend also uh, these vectors and uh, we draw these uh, horizontal lines that is parallel to the inclined planes the planes of the incline then we will have a component of this force f and this is vertical component that pointing towards downwards and this is horizontal component that pointing uh, towards the, the right of the plane and the, how we can why this is 30 degrees let us assume this angle is equal to 30 to x then we know that from here to here it's 90 degrees angle that f between f and w between f and w then when we take this 90 degrees and we know from here to here also is 90 minus theta how we'll have this one it's 90 minus theta plus x and then for mathematics if we get x is equal to 30 degrees hence x is equal to theta is equal to 30 degrees and this is opposite angle now here it, it is equal to here okay uh, we consider the horizontal forces as usual then from uh, our coordinate system and if we, we take reference from the center we will have the, the, the resulting formula as this one then our uh, horizontal forces is seven is 57.74 towards the right of uh, our center frame of reference thank you for watching like share comment don't forget to subscribe this channel for more video like this one